From the past, the nature of light has been studied by many scientists. Some scientists believe that light had a wave nature, as others defended the particle nature of light. For the first time, René Descartes represented the wave theory which introduces the light as a disturbance in the world substance. Although Pierre Gassendi was the first scientist to believe in particle nature of light, but when this theory was followed by Isaac Newton, it was developed. Robert Hooke and Christian Huygens are the next most famous scientists that believe in the wave theory of light. After about one century, the double slit experiment of Thomas Young derived evidence that could be explained only if we know the light as a wave. One century later, Max Planck formulated his idea of emission of light to solve the problem of thermal equilibrium of an absolutely black body. He found that the energy of light should be quanta, and his experiments shows the energy formula of each packet, which called photon, is H mu. The photoelectric effect is the other important experiment that has two points, proves the quantity of energy in one hand and shows particular nature of light on the other hand. A big difficulty appeared. The light must be a wave to explain the double slit experiment of Thomas Young and simultaneously must be a particle to explain the photoelectric effect. Einstein defined a pocket of energy with zero rest mass and explained the Bose double slit experiment and the photoelectric effect. On the other hand, it seems Einstein himself did not accept wave particle duality and knew that as only a temporary way out. But only a few scientists have investigated the possibility of non-zero rest mass of the photon with few results. Now consider a particle that is separated from a moving source. The motion of the particle is always affected by the movement of its source. Now, notice how the electrons move in an atom. In this situation, the electron has two kinds of motion, moving around itself and around the nucleus of the atom. When the electron is excited, it emits a photon. The emotion of the photon is affected by the emotion of its source, electron, and must include both types of motion of its source. In other words, since the electron is the photon generator and the electron is rotating around itself and around the nucleus, the emitted photon also has these rotating motions. So, the photon is a particle that always traverses on a helical direction and has a three-dimensional motion. In Saleh theory, since the photon has a projectile and impulsive motion, it is a particle. On the other hand, as it has a rotational motion, it behaves wave-like. Saleh theory, as Newton believes, that light is consists of particles with a constant mass, but 
Furthermore, Saleh theory believes in a three-dimensional trajectory for it. In this theory, photon behavior is studied in three dimensions. Finally, we would conclude that the constituent particles of light have a spiral motion around the axis of the trajectory and rectilinear advancement trajectory. In fact, particle theory of Newton is only the rectilinear motion and wave theory is the image of three-dimensional motion of particles in two dimensions. In other words, the motion of light particles is a three-dimensional spiral motion on the cylindrical environment and these particles that called photon move on the steps of an imaginary screw and move forward. Now the question is that how different colors of light are created. Color variety of photon. An electron that revolves. And here is a photon board with all its beauty, its speed, and its incredible brilliance. An angel. We believe that the color variety of photon is due to a change in the value of its gyro radius, and a different value of the rotational radius is due to electron motion with different distances around the nucleus in atoms. So, violet with the shortest gyro radius. Indigo Blue Green Yellow Orange Red spectrum that has the longest gel radius in visible light Therefore, the colorfulness is the effect of the rotation of photons with different gel radius As mentioned before, the photon has a three-dimensional motion, including a wave-like movement and a rotating motion. So its energy is consists of these two types of movement. In Saleh theory, the energy of wave-like part is same as the energy that Max Planck has experimentally measured in the laboratory. And the rotational kinetic energy is the energy same as the energy of the rotational globe around its center. But eventually, this photon with constant mass passes the distance between two points by linear velocity c. So its energy is equal to a half mc square 2. According to the explanation of how the photon is moving, the final formula for the energy of photon would be like this. In fact, 
it can be said that the photon translational kinetic energy is equal to the initial energy of the photon minus its rotational energy consumption. In this formula, the first part is the energy of a wave-like part and the second one is translational kinetic energy and the third part refers to the rotating energy at a constant angular velocity. H is Planck constant. Nu is frequency, where M is the photon mass, C is linear speed of photo, R is gyradius, and omega is angular velocity. The important and interesting point in this view formula for the energy of photon is that the variables of this equation are homogeneous. As you know, for a wave with constant velocity, the frequency is directly related to the inverse value of wavelengths. Therefore, the variations of both variables, the rotational radius and the frequency are same kind of the lengths. In the equality of h nu equal mc square 2, the variables are frequency and mass that these variables are completely heterogeneous. What is weird is that, according to the wave particle duality concept, the mass of violet photon is twice the mass of red photon. But even by sight and by feeling, the red light is heavier, stranger, and warmer than the violet light. Saleh theory explain the nature of red light taking into account its higher internal energy. In fact, the wide range of frequency is interpreted as the changes in the value of the dry radius and so the color variety of photo. When the frequency decreases, the wavelengths increase, which cause the growth of dry radius and consequently the internal energy of photon grows up, but the mass is always constant.